Hello everyone, welcome to SQL Maestros. I am Satya Ramesh. Today we are going to discuss about row number function in SQL Server. Row number function is one of the four ranking functions that are available in SQL Server. The other three are rank, dense rank and entile. Today in this video, we are going to concentrate only on row number function. So before going into real time examples and their demos, we'll just discuss few important notes. So why this row number function is generally used? So row number function generates a sequential number for each row within a partition. If there is a partition, then it will generate a sequential number for each row in a partition. If not, it will generate a sequential number, that's all. And next important point is the values written by row number function are of big int data type. So whenever you assign a row number to any row in a particular data set, the output will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that, right? So the output data type of that particular value is big int data type. That means we can only assign 2 power 63 minus 1 row numbers for any data set. And coming to the next point, if you, the values generated by row number function are not persisted to the disk. That means it, it will generate on the fly and the once the result set is completed, then they will go off, right? So if you want them to persist to the disk, row number function is not the best option. You should go with identity, property or sequence or object for that purpose. And next important point is there is no guarantee that the values written by row number function are same for each execution. So this will vary. Uh, there are some certain cases that the values written by row number function are same for every execution for that few rules to be satisfied so they are values of partition column or should be unique and values of order by columns should be unique and combination of partition columns and order by columns should be unique so these are the few rules if followed then for every execution we'll get the same row number value so let's get into a small real-time example then let me flip back to SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and we should be using AdventureWorks 2012 database and I do not want to mess up with the original table so I am just copying the data from product cost history table to a temporary table. So this is also done and we'll just see how this table particular table looks. So this is how this particular table looks like. We have four columns and we have 395 rows and let me assign a row number. So row number is a function which can which should be applied along with over class. So this is the first requirement whenever you are assigning row number using row number function. So let me execute this particular query. So if you observe we have row number column added extra at the end which is on fly. This is not persisted to the disk. If you see the row number start with 1 and end with 395. This won't solve our purpose until unless we introduce a partition by class. So let me add this partition by class and I am partitioning our data based upon product ID. So what SQL Server will do? SQL Server will take all the products which are having same ID and group them together and start assigning row numbers. And we are ordering the data based upon start date column in descending order. So let me execute this particular query and see now we all the product which are having same ID 707, 707, 707, 707 are grouped together and row number was assigned 1, 2, 3 and whenever the product ID changes then row number starts from 1 again. So let me put this up in CTE so I'm just putting up the same query inside a common table expression so that we can perform delete operation on top of our result set. So I've just embedded this one inside a CTE and we'll just see how many number of records which are matching this particular condition which is row number greater than 1. So if you execute this particular query then if you execute this particular query we have got the total count as 102. So that means we have 102 duplicate records. So let me instead of putting up this select statement if you put up a delete statement. So what I'm doing now is uh, take out the result set and delete from CTE where the row number greater than 1. So this particular statement will remove all the records which are having greater row number greater than 1. Now if you select 
the result state should be zero. So all the duplicate values are removed. Let me go back and query the table to make sure that all the records are deleted. If you see for one product ID, we have only one record. So this is how we can remove duplicates by using row number function. Let me drop the temporary table I have created. And if you see another example, additional example. So our query is our problem is that calculate the sum of unit prices of each sales order in every year and find maximum two sales orders in the year. So we have this particular table called sales dot sales order head sales order detail inside adventure work database. If we execute this one, this particular table will have more than one lakh records. So to be precise, it has more than uh, one lakh 21,317 records. So what we need to do is for every order. So the order ID is same here because in the same order ID, we have ordered multiple products, right? For single sales ID, we need to sum up the unit price. That's what our need is. Calculate the sum of unit prices for each sales order. And after that, we need to do the partition per year. Calculate the sum of unit prices of each sales order in every year. Once we have done that, we need to find out two sales, two maximum sales per year. So this one, the final problem can be achieved using row function. Rest everything can be done using group by clause and aggregation functions. So this is the query, which is using multiple subqueries. So let me execute this one part by part to actually show you what's happening and finally execute the final one to get the uh, desired output. So let me execute this particular query. So this is what we are doing. We are, we are querying sales order detail table and from the sales order detail table, we are grouping all the records based upon sales order ID column. So all the sales order IDs, which are having the same value will group together. And after that we are grouping based upon year also. So once we do the group, we are summing up, summing up the unit price. So once we do the group, once we group all these things together, we are summing up this unit price value. So once we sum up the unit price value, we don't want the decimal points. So to avoid the decimal points, we are just using round function. So it will just avoid the decimal points. So this is what we are doing. If we execute this particular query, we'll get, we'll get for every single sales order ID, we'll get the sum of unit price. So this is what we'll get and respective order year also. So now we'll just wanted to partition our data set. The data set, the, the output given by this query, we are just partitioning based upon modify year and then applying a row number on top of it. So let me execute this particular query. So if I execute this particular query, we have got, uh, we have got row number assigned based upon order year. So the row number will reset whenever the year changes. So let me scroll down to show you where the year, the row number actually resets. So if you observe here, after 2005, we got the 2006 and row number got reset. So I just repeat it. So we are partitioning by modify year and we are ordering the data based upon unit price descending. So for each partition, for every year we got, we'll get one partition and the data inside that partition will be arranged based upon unit price in descending order. So top two will be the maximum unit prices for that particular year. That's what we are trying to achieve. So top two, how to fetch out the top two? Wherever the row number is one and two, they are the top two. So that's why we are selecting where row number between one and two. Let me execute this particular query in totality to find out top two, top two sales orders in each year. So if you see for 2005, these, these two are the top two sales orders. So this is how row number function can help us in finding out solutions to the problems. So that's all friends. Thank you for joining this video. So if you want to follow me, this is the Twitter handle and see you soon in the next video. Thank you.